All right, so you wanna learn how to install a built-in microwave with a trim kit. Let's get started. Every microwave is gonna be a little bit different, but there's gonna be a few staple pieces that each kit will have. First is the trim piece. These usually come in 27 or 30 inch wide dimensions. We also have two rails, which are mounted usually to the underside of your microwave, as well as a base tray, which is this large metal sheet here, and that goes inside of the cabinet. And of course, your microwave. Make sure that you're buying the trim kit specific for your microwave, as there's a lot of variations in size. Now in terms of tools, you're definitely gonna want a tape measurer, some sort of marking tool like a pencil or pen, a screwdriver or an impact driver, as well as a drill. Most of the hardware, like your screws, will be provided with your kit. So now, let's get started. It's best practice to pick out your microwave and trim kit before you start building your kitchen, and therefore you can cut the hole to the right dimensions ahead of time. However, oftentimes that's not the case with most renovations or projects, so you're probably gonna have to retrofit the size of your hole for your specific microwave after the fact. Oftentimes your hole is too big and you're gonna wanna make it smaller, and you can do this by adding trim around the perimeter. As you can see, I've done that here, but that was actually for the incorrect trim kit. Uh, we ordered the wrong one, unfortunately, but now we have the correct one, so I can take this back out, and the original hole size is actually correct. So let's go ahead and do that. The specific dimensions for the opening of the microwave trim kit will vary from microwave to microwave. If it needs to be smaller, you can add these trim pieces as I did here, or if you need to make it bigger, you can use an oscillating tool to notch it out. After that was completed, I tested putting on the trim piece to make sure it fit properly, and here I'm looking out for making sure that the top of it is flush with the cabinet and not any higher. Also, I have a drawer underneath and I want to make sure that that opens and closes properly. Once I confirmed that everything looks good, I could take the microwave back out and flip it upside down to get ready to install the rails. Alright, now you can install the rails on the underside of the microwave and you just want to make sure that they're oriented in the correct fashion. After mounting the rails, I put the microwave right side up on a flat surface so I could determine how high off the ground the rails raise it. After checking, it came out to 1 and 7 8 inches. I then compared this to the clearance that I need for the trim kit in order for the drawer underneath the microwave to open and close properly, and that measurement came out to 2 and 3 8 inches. So subtracting those two measurements, I determined that I need to raise up the microwave half of an inch inside the cabinet in order for the trim kit to be installed properly. Luckily, I was able to find some half inch MDF in my scrap pile, so I just used that to increase the height of the microwave tray. I then secured it in place with a couple screws, making sure that these went through the MDF and into the actual cabinet. I then installed some additional hardware in which the trim kit will actually mount to. Once that was completed, I could then take the microwave and put it back into position, making sure to align those rails and then slide it into place. You should make sure that the screw holes on the front line up with one another. I then took my trim piece once again to make sure everything was still lining up nicely. Now before I secure the trim permanently, I'm going to drive in some screws that attach the rails to the base pan. Now I'm going to open up, open the door and I can screw in some screws down from the bottom and the top and we'll be all done. And that's going to be a wrap on this week's video. Hopefully this is a helpful guide when you go to install your own microwave. But if you have any additional questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them. And if you haven't already, please like the video as it really helps me out. And also subscribe as we post a new DIY video every single Saturday. And next week we got a big project coming. We're going to be doing a complete bathroom renovation. We're going to be tearing this all the way down to the studs and building it all the way back up step by step. And I've never done a bathroom renovation to this scale, so I'm going to be learning as I go. And hopefully you guys can learn along with me and maybe give me some tips along the way. But I'm really excited for this one, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching and happy building. See you next week.